Hello and welcome back to Queen's Crafts by Bridget. I'm Bridget. Thank you for joining me today and uh, to all of my new subscribers, thank you very much for uh, joining on and a lot of you have said hello and that's been really nice getting to know a few new people in the comments. I've really enjoyed that. I think that's probably due to I've been going to a lot more lives lately and trying to talk a little bit more while I'm in there. Um, I often get very busy and forget to type in the chat or read. I just listen as I work. Um, I've been missing for a little over a week because I had my niece and my nephew here um, visiting. And we did a lot of crafts together. Some fails, some not. Uh, we tried tie-dyeing. I used the wrong kind of dye, so it did not work. I'll read, I'll, I'll, I'll get the right kind of dye and over dye the mistake and then I'll be able to bring those to them. It was just a simple uh, dirt cotton. It's not wool. I'm not going to use the same kind of dye. But uh, <clears throat> that being said, we did a little bit of uh, working with clay. This is not a strong suit of mine, but just to show everybody that I am not good at everything, I will show you what I made. It's horrid, just horrid, look at that. I I tried to do a, a heart, yeah, that didn't work. Um, yeah, I made a yarn bowl, but it, mm. <laughs> I've got to paint mine yet, I was letting it dry um, before I painted it. They painted theirs right away because we wanted to make sure that they could be painted before they went home. So they had to dry, they weren't dry when I took them home and I will take these back to them the next time I see them or when they get to come up here and visit again. Um, first, I will show you my niece's uh, project. I'm not going to use their names or anything like that, but I think she did awesome. This was based on one of her drawings, she said. And I can't remember all the things she said about it, but I do remember this is a monster without eyes. So, he's pretty cool. They do clay crafts with their mommy. Their mommy is very, very good at it. <clears throat> and then, my nephew, uh, he made a little pot. So cute. This was a little, a little leftover. And now, he used a lot of pink, but he used that for a specific reason. I only have one color of glow-in-the-dark paint. It's pink. And he wanted his to glow in the dark. So, and you know, not that boys can't use pink. I'm not, I'm not saying that at all. But he used uh, pink in almost every project. He also made a really cool turtle with a beautiful gold shell and head. And he did very well. He even put the details of the, the shape in the turtle's back. And he gave the turtle a little mouth. He did awesome. And then he also made a really cute snowman. And he's wearing a top hat, as a snowman should. It's really cute. It does glow in the dark very well. I cannot wait to bring this to him. And hopefully mommy will be able to put it up somewhere so that they can have it when they get a little older and look back at the art that they did with their Tia on, on the weekend or on the week that they got to stay here. <clears throat> so, as I said, that proves that I'm not good at everything I try. <laughs> I, 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 uh, hmm, hmm, I failed that one big time, but I am going to keep it and display it because I did it with my niece and nephew, and I had a lot of fun doing it, whether I completely bombed or not. Um, while they were here, I did get a little bit of sewing done here and there at night while they were laying down watching TV. So I have completed some bags. And then I completed some more this morning before I got up and started cleaning. These ones, um, <clears throat> someone asked me to do elephants. Um, and normally, if you want a, a, a special order, or a spe uh, if you want to request a s certain uh, fabric, I would have... Um, communicate with you, pay half up front, 
bing bang boom i make it for you and we go from there this time however uh she mentioned elephants we hadn't worked out the uh all of that so um but I really like elephants, and I know a lot of other people really like elephants, so I went ahead and made it, and hopefully she will like it, and we'll get one. All right, let's show you what I got. I just took pictures of these, so they are still filled with yarn. I thought some of these are just very uh, um, <clears throat> realistic-looking elephants, and I like the way that they staggered them because it, it almost makes them appear to me especially now looking at, at it on the camera almost as if they're 3d but of course that's the closure and just black on the inside oh where to put them there we go <clears throat> and then we have gray and the gray one has a notions pouch. And then we have another gray one. This one does not have a notions pouch. And then we have tan with a notions pouch. Those were finished up this morning. Now, on to the rest. We have butterflies. This one has the Notions pouch. I made a boo-boo and it's green. Because the other, some of the, all the rest of them are green. But, uh, if you don't want the Notions pouch, I completely understand. I think it still works because of the green in the butterfly and purple and green look well good together. That's how I did that. Lay them all back there, I guess. Let's see. We also have green butterflies and the notions pouch. And purple on the inside. <laughs> we'll just have to do them in the order I got them piled up here. Sorry about that. This one, Meloida's Map from Harry Potter, Notions Pouch, <clears throat> I have two of those, exact same, both have Notions Pouch, all these next ones will have the Notions Pouch, so we have two like this. Notions pouch. Only difference is this one's got light blue and this one's got tan or an off white and an ivory. Both of them come with a notions pouch. And then we have this one here. Sunflowers with green on green. And the sunflowers notions pouch. Sunflowers, green on purple, and again has the notions pouch. Miss Madonna Ballard inspired this bag here. So we have green. Bear! We have bear! <laughs> I seen this one and it just screamed Miss Madonna. And I absolutely love her, so I just had to make beer <laughs> and green. Because why not? If you're going to show homage to the queen, one must do it properly and have it be green. We also have green on green for the beer with the Notions pouch.
Now the rest of these do not have uh, Notions pouch. We have the map again. Two of those, both with the cream. We have butterflies with light blue and blue. Let me show you that, the light blue. <clears throat> Excuse me, my nose is itchy. And then we have mermaids and sailors. I think these are just gorgeous ladies. sunflowers, green on green, and green on purple, and we have green on green and green on purple for the beer once again, and I also finished the whip, yay! <laughs> so, I finally finished a blanket whip, so I can finally start. This is just a little scrappy blanket for my niece. She will be for this uh, December, so um, she don't need a great big giant blanket. But this is from the floor, comes all the way up here, so way big and plenty big enough for a four-year-old. I'm sure she will love it. I put lots of textures in there so she can put her little fingers and just. Have fun enjoying all the different textures and all the pretty colors. I'm sure she will enjoy that. <clears throat> and before I let you guys go, I just wanted to give just a couple shout outs of a few ladies that I have been watching and very much enjoying as of lately. First, we have Miss Kelly Creates. Kelly Creates is a relatively new, um, creator and a very new crocheter but she has jumped in head first and been even making wearables which is completely awesome she has a make-along going on or a, a tail going on where if you make something of a set color even if you've made it in the past you send her pictures you get entries i don't enter giveaways otherwise i'd be participating but i think it's an awesome giveaway to enter if you're someone that really enjoys giveaways she also shows her makes and her little girl does videos with her and she is so cute. So if you enjoy a beautiful little girl and a very talented mommy, head on over and check out Kelly. I will have her linked down below. Then we have Connie's Crafting Corner or Crafty Corner. Sorry about that, Connie. She is awesome. An incredibly talented lady that doesn't give herself near enough credit. She's a little too hard on herself, but besides that, she's absolutely perfect in my book. She's helping out her mom, which is having some difficulties that she does not elaborate on. But if you've been around an elderly family member, you can pretty much tell what she's struggling with. So if you could spend just a few extra moments sending some positive thoughts or prayers, depending on your preference, to her that would be wonderful and her mama and then we have miss melissa melissa crochets with love she is awesome she does extremely fun lives wonderful videos she has a square swap going on right now so if you want to swap some squares with her and make a granny blanket that would be awesome check out her channel for those details and if you have time tonight, pop on over to her live. It's a lot of fun. Great people in there. And then we have Sam from Manfa's Makes, I believe is that how is that said? <clears throat> Sam's over across the pond. And her honey comes on and does videos with her sometimes. And he also crochets, which is completely awesome that they can share a hobby like that. She is an extremely talented lady and another one that is way too hard on herself. She is far more talented and beautiful than she knows. So, that's a few for now. I will try to make up a list 
and do this more often because there are so many wonderful people out there that uh, make awesome videos and if you have time go and check them out now <clears throat> if you're interested in any of these you can email me you can hit me up on Instagram you can hit me up on Facebook I also have them listed on Facebook I also have them they these bags here will be up on Macari as soon as possible my other bags are there as well it is more expensive off Macari because Macari charges a good deal for selling on there. Otherwise, we have PayPal and I will get it out to you. That being said, I hope everybody has a wonderful crafty weekend. <clears throat> you all enjoyed your 4th of July and some family time. Until next time, keep crafting your happiness and bye for now.